you know, we look at education in Kentucky. There, there is the perception among many employers in Kentucky that a lot of our young people are graduating unprepared for the workforce. We, we need to focus on education and de helping to develop work skills for our workforce. If we're going to be able to attract good paying jobs into the state, we have to have a trained, educated workforce. So that should be the priority uh, from an education standpoint. Uh, there are a lot of things that we can do to make government more efficient. I think we've proven that at the Department of Agriculture. I, I would put our agency up against any agency in state government. I think we're the model of what you can do. Uh, we have become transparent. We are efficient. We've made employees accountable and we brought in competent management to the Department of Agriculture. I can't say that about very many government agencies in Frankfurt. So we, we can go a long way to make government more efficient and, and I think should I choose to run, we have a very good story to tell. So there are a lot of issues important. Now, with respect to social issues, I will say this again, I am a social conservative, but I do what believe- What does that really mean to you? Well, I'm 100% pro-life. Uh, I believe that uh, there's a, the, the church should play a bigger role. Uh, we have a lot of issues in our society from drugs to divorce that I think the church could play a bigger role, not Do you government. think same-sex marriage might be an issue in the governor's race? It, it probably will be an issue in, in, the, in the governor's race. In I'm your opposed position? to same-sex marriage, um, but that will be an issue in the governor's race. I think uh, from an economic standpoint, I think the Republican Party is still the party that's where you want to be if you're uh, frustrated with the spending levels in government. So I think the Republican Party's held true to its uh, principles on on uh, social or on uh, economic issues and on spending and on debt levels and things like that. With respect to social issues, uh, the the public as a whole has become uh, less focused on social issues. Uh, those issues have become more divisive for uh, women voters and for young voters. So I don't. I think there are a new generation of Republican leaders like myself and Thomas Massey and Rand Paul that recognize that. I'm a social conservative, I will always be, but I'm gonna talk about economic issues because at the end of the day, people are frustrated with the spending of government. They see tax dollars being wasted every day. They're frustrated with the economy. They want their children and grandchildren to be able to have the same opportunities to have a good paying job that they had and, the, and they don't see that. In, in today's economy. Those are the issues that are important with people. But we have Republicans still that want to talk about uh, social issues and social issues only. And those are the Republicans that, in my opinion, continue to lose elections in, in Kentucky. In, in the governor's race, for example, I'm 41 years old. There have been 10 governor's races in my lifetime. The Republicans have lost nine of them. So I, I think in the future, when we talk about statewide races like the governor's race, we need to nominate Republicans uh, that represent the next generation of what Kentuckians want to see. They want to see uh, leaders that aren't divisive, that are able to attract women and, and young voters to the party, and people that are focused on what's important with the average Kentuckian, and that's the spending level, the financial condition of the state, and to be able to create an environment where we have the most competitive economy in the United States to be able to live, work, and, and open a business.